it doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us, we'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Now, what can they do from here? And options in the centre. Going to get a try. Still a chance. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey. Oh, Derek, big moment here. Well, let's just take another look at this through ball by Ronaldo. He gets the timing absolutely right, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Rafinha. Encouraging move, this, from Brazil. He's in with a chance. And still danger here. Well, no damage done. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Neymar. Neymar thrives on running at defenders, but the danger averted for now. Felix. Now with Guerrero. It's with Ruben Neves. Dallo. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, no card, but the referee clearly indicating that he's on his last warning. And he whips it in. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they survived the attack. Casemiro. Paqueta. Well, it's a good Brazil move in the making. 
Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Diogo Dallo. Delightful pass. And you need your defender to take charge. Neymar. How can he take them on and beat them? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Ruben Neves. And support available. And a chance to level it. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Favouring the short one. Did well to win the ball back. Can they hit on the break? And Rafael Guerrero has lost the ball. But he's Charleson. Neymar, very quick thinking there, and Neymar, and the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation, brilliant stuff. Fancy a short one. Paqueta. This could square the game. Oh, the referee points to the sport. Penalty. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. Chance to equalise here. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, here's the replay, and it's almost the perfect penalty. Keepers guessed the right way, but it's tucked so far into that corner, it's almost impossible for him to save. That's how you take a spot kick. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Short corner favour. Neymar preferring the inside route. Casemiro. On to Paqueta. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Joao Felix. Bruno Fernandes has it. Diogo Dallo. Ronaldo. And cleared away. Diesch. It's with Guerrero. Joao Felix. Oh, that goes down as a wonderful save. Offside, not that anyone knew.
Rafinha. Ball with Danilo. Lucas Paqueta. Vinicius. It's still alive. Well, he stopped it out of there without much fuss. Richarlison. Richarlison. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Let's see about the delivery. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And this again, the goal that was scored from the spot. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here into the second half. Who can he pick out? Neymar. Back to Danilo. That is a really disappointing effort, goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. And they're making a change. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Using space on the opposite flank now. Joao Felix. Neymar. Lucas Paqueta. Here's Rafinha. Intercepting it intelligently. Are they going to forge ahead? Oh, there it is! There's the goal that gives them the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So, back underway. Having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Great vision to switch the play. Otavio. Ronaldo. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Fabinho. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper there to deal with it. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Going short. Can Neymar do as he cuts in? Richarlison! And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Keen to take it short here. Oh, punched clear. And the keeper deals with the danger. 30 minutes to go then. Not the pass he had in mind. 
Teammates available. And Neymar. Oh, fine stop. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Short with the clearance. Casimiro. It did look on for them, but not to be. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Vinicius Jr. And slipped through beautifully. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. Ruben Dias. Otavio. And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, Brazil have been in complete control over the last 15 minutes. Oh, Stewart's a chance! The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now with Silva. Joao Cancelo. Nicely timed tackle. Rafinha. Now, who can he play it to? Making high pressing work for them here. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Joao Cancelo. Vinicius Junior. Pedro. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, it was there for him to take the chance. There to take it away. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. On the attack in the closing phase. Now can they counter clinically? They need to get bodies back. Well, not to be. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Good refereeing, waiting for a natural break before administering the caution. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Well, let's see it again. As soon as he struck that, he knew it was going in. Although he's put that much movement on the ball, he controls it perfectly. It's a great free kick. So back underway at 3-1. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Fabinho, timely intervention.
Ronaldo. Pereira. And he's made headway. And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. say defences are on top 3-2 Pedro Ferreira on the ball Rafael Leal well still time for them to level it Felix spot on with that tackle making sure it didn't get past him well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. Richarlison. Free kick awarded then by the referee. On a pass that lacks quality. Richarlison. Pedro. Vinicius Jr. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy. is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some great football. They've been inspiring. There's been some great individual performances. It's been outstanding from them.